What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video and today I've got something honestly kind of exciting and that comes from Concept who most of us are probably familiar with and just to give you a little bit of an overview if you want to pause that that is going to be what we're talking about today so let's crack this open and see what we've got Concept is always really really good with their unboxings they have this slide style box and on top you're greeted with all of the paperwork uh, concepts you know about them warranty stuff all that stuff it's gonna be locked in right in this little pamphlet and then you got the knife itself that's in this sleek little nylon pouch so we'll open it up here and we've got the knife itself and this one is a little special we got a black and white like g10 carbon fiber like fat carbon a little bit pretty cool um, stock standard pocket clip I'm not sure if this is steel or titanium it is a, a flipper and this is a double detent slip joint so there's no lock on this so knife restriction people this is the knife for you the other cool thing about this knife is Damascus. This is my first actual Damascus knife. I've had like Damascus printed like gas station knives But this is cool. I'm not entirely sure what the core is. Let's zoom in here You get a nice look at that Damascus pattern I'll flip it over Pretty dang sweet and they're calling this a Tonto on the blade shape it is a really subtle tanto. You can see the point right here, and then it kind of curves up to a steep angle. But it, from afar, you'd almost think it was a drop point. But it is, in fact, a tanto. There is a little point right there. Like I said, it's a double detent slip joint. So to close it, you just put a little bit of pressure on the back side of the blade. And it closes right up. Let's zoom back out. So you can have a little bit of fun. Take some getting used to. Because too much pressure. And you get that. It'll it'll close, but it'll flip right back out. Not enough pressure. And it doesn't close all the way. So to tune it just right is actually pretty fidgety. And for the, it's more of a push button style flipper than it is like a pull down. So you really kind of have to push down and into the, the spine to get a good action. But the jimping itself is actually pretty decent. Let's zoom you guys in here. You can see there, it's almost like a little bit bigger than what you find on a quarter for the jimping. So not super aggressive, but pretty light that's going to give you a decent grip on the knife itself. Like I said, this is pretty sweet. Retail on these is about 125. So for 125 you're getting fat carbon Damascus blade and a little bit of a lot of bit of fidget factor. So yeah, this isn't a full review. And these kind of slip joints are honestly not my biggest preference. If I'm gonna do a slip joint, it's gonna be uh, your typical slip joint. Not the, not the double detent. I don't love the double detent. It doesn't give a, like any amount of pressure, back pressure on the blade starts to close. So. This is going to be, I would say, unless you know your way around double det detents, for the most part, it's going to be more of a light duty EDC knife. Package opening, letter opening, stuff like that. You're not going to be chopping down, you know, boxes. I, I would say you probably could chop down some boxes. Just like I said, make sure that you don't put any back pressure on that blade because the second you do, it's going. So... You are going to be cutting open boxes, 
hammer style is going to be the way your hammer, hammer grip is going to be your grip to go to. But I don't want to get too detailed. Like I said, this isn't a review of the knife. This is just an unboxing, first impressions, and yeah. So first impressions of this knife, of this knife honestly pretty good. Like I said, it's not my direct style. Um, Concept did send this out for me to make some content with, so expect to see some pictures over on the Instagram. It's going to be at everyday.zach. If you're not following me on Instagram, I recommend you do so. Kind of biased, but I do post some pretty good stuff on there. And, you know, if you're not subscribed here, hit that subscribe button. It's the easiest and the most free way to support me, support what I'm doing here. So hitting that button means a whole lot to me. Like I said, it's the best way to support me and everything I'm doing here on YouTube. You know, with all those things said, this is the Concept Fusa. If you're interested in picking one up, checking one out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And with all these things said, until next time, peace.